Hi everybody, the eel pit is getting exciting quick now that we added these spotted gar. So here's our first look at them. I caught them in the last video and the full video is on my YouTube page, uh, Cow Turtle. But yes, here is my favorite of the spotted gar. This is Garados. He is the smaller one and he is definitely the prettiest. But yeah, it's amazing to see these guys. These guys are dinosaurs. Uh, they live 100 million years ago, 150 million years ago. Spinosaurus actually used to feed on gar. And this little bullhead is still alive. He's been down here over a month now with the eels. And uh, somebody named him Dilbert. So, super cute little guy. But yeah, he does not hide. He is somehow surviving down here. But yeah, this is why I'm not really worried about the eels and the gar together. Uh, this is mentally eel. And you can see he just cuddled right up to Garados. Uh, Gardos was slowly swimming across and uh, Middle Eel followed right underneath him, kind of using him as cover. They're all about the same size. The, the Gar are not aggressive, they're predatory. So if it doesn't fit in their mouth, they really don't care about other fish. Uh, I caught these guys in the wild. I actually found them feeding and they were eating three inch little hybrid bass babies. So yeah, they are not, not worried about these eels. I did actually go ahead and pull bathtub out though. Um, I went down at night, and he was actually hiding under the biggest of the gar, the big female, Jason. And it was a little bit sketchy, the size difference. I'm setting up a 500-gallon aquarium, and I wanted to do one or two of the eels in there anyway. So I just went ahead and pulled bathtub out. Uh, right now he's in a 30-gallon kind of quarantine tank while I set the 500 up. Here is Ely Dan checking me out. He looks like a little airplane with his pectoral fins out like this. But yeah, these guys are always so curious. I tried to see if he would bite my finger, but kind of spooked him. Uh, Sriracha's still doing fine in the five gallon bucket. I will make some kind of permanent cage structure because uh, I still do want to breed crayfish down here. Still no signs of mayonnaise, but Sriracha was smaller than mayonnaise, so there's a chance she's still alive. Uh, Vanessa the catfish is still existing down here. Uh, the channel cats just hide in the back left corner where it's dark most of the time, so we don't see them too often. But yeah, that was Shaquille swimming right past Jason.